Yes, indeedy. Welcome to another Monday night episode of Riley and Co. With me, Mark Riley, at the helm, all excited and ready to prog as I introduce live in session the legendary Gong with Tiny Galaxies. <laughs> I'm Mark Riley, and I've been joined by the legendary Gong. Hello, fellas. Hi. Hey. I do. An absolute pleasure to have you in. And I might have even mentioned this before, but um, Christopher Lee, one of the great SMs, one of the best engineers the BBC's ever had, uh, but not really one for getting too over-enthusiastic about things, put it that way. And he said that the session that he did with you might have been the last session that he did for us, actually. Uh, he said was uh, right up there with the very, very best he'd ever done, bearing in mind that he'd been working for the BBC for about 30 years at that point. Oh, I think... Was that the gentleman that sort of longish white hair and spectacles? That's the one. Yeah, lovely guy. Uh, yeah, Absolutely. Yep. So uh, we'll dedicate the next song to you, um, Christopher. But um, so, um, Carvis, introduce your band, would you, if you don't mind? Well, the band. I will. I will do the band. On my uh, right, we have uh, all the way over from Sao Paulo, Fabio Golfetti on the guitar and uh, yeah. BVs. And then beyond him there is uh, Ian East on woodwinds. Yay. Uh, in the Chamber of Humiliation, Cheb Nettles, <laughs> on the Battery, and 
in the at one o'clock in my eye line, we have Dave Sturt on space guitar. Yay, um, okay, we'll talk more about space guitars in a bit. But yeah. just before we get kind of stuck into um, the whys and wherefores of the new record and everything, couldn't help but notice there are no amplifiers in the room. No, no, we're, we're, we're adopting a, a, a controversial but modern ampless model. Yeah. Do you do that on tour? We do now, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, well, it makes the stage look so good because we have a big screen blowing people's minds, hopefully, with a with a sort of a visual assault, a seizure-inducing visual assault, and there's no amplifiers to get in the way of it now. Wow. Would Steve Hillage approve? No. He seemed all right about it. <laughs> Steve <laughs> seemed okay about it. He well, seemed, he he seemed yeah, okay about it. He seemed okay about it. Well, when he plays, with, he plays with an amp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, but anyway. Um, you know, we've, we've gone over to the dark side, and uh, I thought I never would, but... I have. Yeah. Well, it sounds wonderful, so you can't question it. No no bother about that. Thank and you. And so you were telling me, Carvers, um, earlier about the uh, Tiny Galaxies, the tune that you played already. We played it a lot on this programme, but a bit cosmic. Yeah. Well, what happened, we, uh, uh, you know, this is the third session we've done for you. Um, and when we wrote this, um, sort of around kind of whenever it was, middle of last year, it was about the fourth or fifth run through. And I said to the guys, oh, man, I could just see us in the studio there playing this for Mark Riley. And two days later, ping, I got a text and it was you saying, hello, pal, about time Gong did another session, isn't it? And so uh, I said, well, when we, got a, when we got a new album, and now we have a new album and here we are. Yeah, and you also had an exactly um, same kind of scenario with Glastonbury. You had a premonition That's about that right. as well. We, the uh, earlier in the year, we wrote My Guitar is a Spaceship. And I said, man... Can you imagine debuting that at Glastonbury Festival, for which we were not booked? Two days later, a text saying, we're looking for a headliner on the Glade stage for a Friday night at Glastonbury. Can you guys do it? So, You want to do a bit more of that over I know, thinking. honestly, man. It's <laughs> magic. This, that, that, this magic business. Do you know what would be really great? If Pink Floyd were to just bury the hatchet, get together again with the surviving members and yeah, ask no. to open for them at Wembley. Not Ping! So- not so bothered about them. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, fair enough. Well, we probably... played with uh, Nick Mason recently, though. Uh, played at Did a festival you? with uh, Source of Little Secrets, yeah. It's right, very okay. nice. Yeah, I want to see that. Yeah, excellent stuff. He name-checked us on stage. It was nice. Really? Yeah. 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 We, he felt, did. we felt all like famous yeah. and stuff yeah he did a he did a, a piece for us as well in this program we think yeah we've got pink floyd on the yeah, program yeah. it's just you know and so, gong yeah well good lord <laughs> who would have thought um so um you've got that you, you mentioned it there my guitar is a spaceship which is surely one of the most gongish gong titles of all time <laughs> what, is it up there with flying teapot well be. you you be the judge we'll be playing it at the at the t- tail end of these three yeah yeah okay now does the name sherman hemsley mean anything to any of you um, only that he was, if I've got this right, was he not a TV presenter in the... Dave, please, man. Sorry, was he not a TV presenter in the 70s who was a big Gong fan? He's a, he wasn't a TV presenter. He was in um, The Prince of Bel-Air, which I think Will Smith was in, ah. and The Jeffersons, which is a big programme. But apparently he's got a flying teapot room in his house. Now, he's obviously got a lot of money, because, you know, if, you can spare, if you've got a spare room, it's not immediately the first thing you would think of. But he's a big actor in America. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a room, and all the windows are blacked out, and all he does is plays flying teapot in a loop round and round and round. Has <laughs> anyone sort of checked in on his mental health? I mean, what's... <laughs> I he, he, did, he brought David He brought David and Jilly back there in the 70s, I believe. Right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I think it may have been a somewhat heavy scene. I don't think David could handle it, really. No, <laughs> really. He decided it wasn't for him. He's so. got to be... Um, you might, this, this might mean nothing to you, but it might be a little bit like that scene in Alan Partridge when he goes back to somebody's house. And <laughs> uh, the, yeah, I, the, what, I, the, the, what I read about it, it sounded like that, yeah. Covered in pictures yeah. of Alan Partridge. You're right, mental, okay. you, yeah. Right, <laughs> that's one. OK, so um, your working relationship with Steve Davis, right? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is well documented, and you you recently uh, DJed for Blur in front of ninety thousand people as a story, yeah. and you debuted one of the Gong tunes within that, didn't you? My guitar is a spaceship. We did, yeah. We played that just before uh, Paul Weller walked on. <laughs> really, <laughs> yeah. good. Fo- follow follow that jam. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> follow that style council. 
So you've got a mammoth two-leg tour with Osric Tentacles. That's right, yep. Starting on Friday. Yeah, that would be the 17th of November. But yeah. um, the, the thing is, there are so many dates that were not really negotiated the second batch, which happened in March of next year. That's right, yeah. But it's you and Osric Tentacles, and as I understand it, you switch the headline. Yeah, that's right, yeah. We're doing the same length sets, but we're sort of flipping, uh, you know, we're just flipping, not exactly every night, but whoever played, because we did this last year, and whoever played in whatever city last last time. The other band's doing it this time, so we're just doing a sort of bit of a flip, yeah. A flipping marvellous. Flipping marvellous, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you mentioned 17th of November, Oxford O2 Academy, the 18th, London O2 Forum, with the crazy world of Arthur Brown. Now, you're talking about <laughs> follow that. Yeah, I know. If, if he's got, I know, if, I his know. Hel- if his helmet's on fire, you're going to have to think of something, surely. Yeah, well. Dave, do you want to set fire to your bobble out or something? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, if okay. he doesn't, I will. <laughs> <laughs> what have I said? Yeah, uh, sure. Then Manchester Ritz on the 19th, that's next Sunday. I shall be there, cannot wait. Uh, the 20th, Sheffield. Oh, oh uh, now Sheffield. Oh, oh, oh now on. Sheffield was pulled because the building is. What is up with the building? It's the wrong place. kind of concrete. Mm. It's the wrong kind of concrete. Mm. It's wrong Crete, if you will. Very good. Uh, <laughs> Sheffield was pulled, but hey, kids, you heard it here first. We, just as Gong Alone, will be doing a gig in a lovely club called, a lovely bar, really, called Sydney and Matilda on Monday night next week. There'll be details all about how to get tickets all on our social media tomorrow. We've only just confirmed it before coming on air. And we will be doing that just as gong, so we'll be doing a longer set. Come and see us. Come and say hi. Sydney, Sydney and Matilda in Sheffield on Monday the... What is it? Twi- the 20th. 20th, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. OK, and continuing then with Osric's, um on the following night, the 21st Colchester Arts Centre, 23rd Northampton, uh, the Roadmenders, and the 24th Bristol Academy, 25th Gloucester Guildhall, the 26th Birmingham O2 Academy, 28th Brighton Chalk, 29th Norwich Epic Studios, 30th Bournemouth O2 to Academy. 1st of December would be Froome, Cheese and Grain. And finishing this leg of the tour on the 2nd of December in Liverpool at the Academy. And a bit fair to say, we'll be playing you records into next year and then we'll get and negotiate the other part of the tour. Um, but everywhere you don't go on the first bit, you go on the second yeah, bit. Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. If by, you know, May next year you haven't seen Gong recently, you just didn't want to because yeah. you are playing somewhere near everybody. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Brilliant. OK, we're well, going to do three tunes in a row for us now, so yeah. um, what are you going to do? This first one is going to be called All Clocks Reset. Yeah, we know this. Thank you.
And this is going to be through restless seas. I come. Broken 
is a spaceship. Well, that was mind-blowing, and I would like to dedicate that to Deb Grant, actually, because if Deb hadn't been broadcasting from Glasgow tonight with Tom, then she was going to stick around to watch Gong live in session. You just heard My Guitar is a Spaceship through Restless Seas I Come. Before that, All Clocks Reset. You'll be hearing all of those tunes again from the album, which is Unending Ascending, which is out now. And a big style thank you to Mark Ward, who did the mix tonight and did a great job. Thank you, Des- Mark. Despite there being no Mark. amplifiers whatsoever. <laughs> um, just easy, for, br- easy for him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, there you go. Um, yeah, ever thoughtful, gong, just wonderful. Really, really wonderful. So I'm looking forward to seeing you on Sunday night with Osric Tentacles. Thank you, Michelle. Thanks very Thank much, you, you lot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 